Uh, I got some drinks and some Percocets up in the stew and they got me geeked up like a nerd. If a fuck nigga try to say something stupid my way, then I'm gonna leave his brains on the curb. I got a whole lot of motherfucking styles, I even got shit that you ain't never heard. Folks, today we're diving into San Francisco's theft culture. The amount of boosting and bipping and stealing and thievery is almost unbelievable. And we're gonna take you directly into that world today. And that's what we pleasure to bring you on this channel. The real, raw, inside scoop of what's happening. We're about to go meet a crew of boosters who are outside of a Macy's. So, we'll see you there. They told me better pay me, I'll get you knocked off for a low price. Fuck niggas been hanging, come going up, they ain't got no life. One thing you're gonna notice is a lot of boarded up places. A lot of businesses are deciding it's not worth it being in San Francisco anymore. A lot of retail places are closing up because of all the thievery. San Francisco's once bustling downtown streets still struggling to bounce back as retailers continue to flee. A lot of retailers have been pulling out of the city. In the past few weeks, Westfield announced it's giving up its prominent downtown mall location while AT&T revealed it is closing its flagship store in the city. This is a place you don't want to leave valuables in your car. We're looking in the bipping and boosting. Oh my God. Is All it right. crazy here? It's pretty crazy. You have know, you they... ever had your car windows? Me personally, no. Do you know people have their car windows smashed? Most definitely. What do you think about that? It's the way to survive out here, I guess. I mean, as long as you know what you're doing, keeping it straight, you know the right people, you should be good. Someone bashes out your car windows, it seals uh -huh. your phone charger, your phone, all your stuff. Yeah. What should happen to that person? If I can find him, man, it's over with for him. <laughs> Nothing with the police? Hell no, they never get the police involved. Why? They won't do nothing anyway. How you doing? Good, bro. Nice to meet you. Good to you, Bob. So this place is crawling with police. I don't know how anyone's gonna get this job done. I would be deterred. By this much police, I would be deterred. This is ballsy. I was expecting it to be a lot easier, but this actually seems like it's kind of difficult. I've never done any boosting before, but I'm looking at Macy's and there's security guards and police everywhere. Uh -huh. Is that normal? Yeah. Absolutely. It seems like it's a high pressure situation. It doesn't seem as easy as I was picturing, which is just walk in, take it and leave. Honestly, with some situations, it depends. You know, it depends on what the, the boosting style is. You know, some people are called gorilla boosters and they don't care. You know, they'll, they'll beep on the way out. So they'll just run in there, grab it, and um, they're gone. If I'm walking out with an armful of Patagonia jackets, uh -huh. can someone stop? They can stop you. You know, it depends on the person. Some people have like security, like Dix has security. They might say something to you. They're not gonna chase you out the door. This is like a small army of police officers. <laughs> if I was in the business of being a professional oh, thief, I'd be like, ah, I think I'm gonna put my two weeks in today and I'll just do something <laughs> else. Yeah, that's hot. You feel that's me? A lot of the boosters too are not really prone to like be hitting it in the city like that. A lot of people be jumping BART. They hit the suburbs? Yeah, they hit. Emeryville, Dublin, Richmond, you know, all those different places out there, Oakland, and then they go and they do it like that, and then they hit the bar, they come back, and then they go to the market and they sell it there. Do you ever feel bad when you're boosting? Like, do you ever feel like, shit, this isn't the right thing to do? I'm not the booster, I'm the fence. I'm the one who buys it, you know, okay. and then I flip it. There's a lot of retail stores shutting down in San Francisco right now. Obviously, the city knows it's going on, and there is some type of economy that it's working for them. The city would be scared to shut down boosting completely for all the different people because then they would be worried about civilians getting attacked, you know, robbed, the cars getting dipped, those things like that. That's so why they have the market open so, like that. So basically, if people can steal from like Dick's Sporting Goods, it's a lot less dangerous than stealing from individuals. Is that the idea? Yes, they're getting that insurance for those lost uh, lost products. Dick's Sporting Goods closes. When Walmart closes, like you saw this in Chicago, uh -huh. there's just too much theft. And now people that depend on that place for their groceries, they're out of luck. What do you think about that? That's extremely unfortunate. I think there's other things going on. I don't think that solely that is just closing down just because of the theft numbers. Because then if that was the case, their insurance is garbage. I like the mustache, man. I'm working on it too. You'll get there one day, bro. You know, morally, is it wrong? Yeah, you know it's wrong. There's a lot of stuff that is going on in the world that's morally wrong. If you look at the world today and you think, is the world morally right or morally wrong? Chances are, it's more morally wrong.
Are you familiar with the term bipping? Yes. What does that mean to you? Breaking a car window and grabbing stuff out of a car. It is a problem in the city. In particular areas, you just don't uh, don't park your car and expect it to be safe. Have you ever been bipped before? Yes. What ran through your head after that? Why do I have to deal with this? I live in one of the richest cities in the world. What should happen to bippers? Swift and short punishment. The reason it's a problem is there are no consequences. Do you feel like the people in charge in San Francisco are doing a good job? I would say no. The, the people in charge of San Francisco are captured by ideology rather than what's actually practically beneficial for the residents of the city.